Hello and welcome to the history of Stargate Atlantis. Today's episode we're going to be covering Sergeant Bates and here we go. Bates is currently an agent for the International Oversight Advisory. He originally held the rank of Sergeant in the United States Marine Corps. Having been assigned to the Atlantis Expedition under the command of Colonel Marshall Sumner and later Major John Shepard until he had a near fatal encounter with the Wraith in 2005 which ultimately resulted in him receiving an honorable discharge and later joining the IOA as a special agent. 2004 During the first off-world mission to Athos, Bates, Sumner, and several other Athosians were taken by the greatest threat in the Pegasus Galaxy, the Wraith. Bates and most of the Athosians were rescued by a marine team led by Major John Shepard, though Sumner was killed. In the months following, Bates was appointed internal head of security for the base, under Shepard's command. Whatever chance of a friendship between Bates and Shepard were seriously weakened when, during a time where the Wraith somehow gleaned intelligence on the expedition's off-world missions, Bates suggested harsh new security measures to Shepard and the expedition commander, Dr. Elizabeth Weir. Bates's requests were partially approved badly straining the relationship between the Tari and the Athosians, and eventually drove them to settle on the mainland. The situation between Bates and Shepard worsened when Bates centered his investigation on Tayla and exposed her as an unintentional spy. After the capture of Steve the Wraith, Bates was put in charge of security around the Atlantis brig in which Steve was held. 2005 When an ancient nanovirus was released from the nanite lab, he and Elizabeth Weird instituted a quarantine. He was then ordered by Major John Shepard to open the doors of the gym. He followed the order despite Weir's orders not to. When a dart was detected heading towards Atlantis, he and Dr. Carson Beckett piloted a puddle jumper to take it down, but it self-destructed before Carson was able to get a clear shot. On a personal level, Bates had a younger brother, who he was close to and fondly recalled their time together when he had the opportunity to send a video message back to Earth. Bates resisted saying goodbye, feeling that he would never see his brother again and it would just make things harder. He did, however, choose to say goodbye in the end. Bates took part in a briefing about the Wraith Hive ships that were on their way and worked to set up Pegasus's Alpha Site. After the Alpha Site came under attack, Bates managed to make it back with all of his men and was confused by the fact that the Wraith attacked an uninhabited planet. After learning of the discovery of the true extent of Tayla's abilities, Along with the fact that Taylor had been possessed by a wraith, Bates' suspicions of Taylor were further exacerbated, especially after Taylor wanted to connect with the wraith again. When Taylor lost control and was possessed by the wraith for a second time, Bates took her down with two shots from a wraith stunner rifle, having stayed on hand in case something happened once again. Hours before the wraith came to arrive, things came to a head between Taylor and Bates. They argued, which culminated in Bates accusing her of being in service to the Wraith, which is a serious insult among the Athosians. Later, when a Wraith fleet approached the mostly undefended city, Bates was badly injured in an encounter with a Wraith infiltrator named Bob, while attempting to stop him from sabotaging the city's Naquadria generators. Bates suffered several fractured ribs, a broken collarbone, and a severe concussion that caused a subdural hematoma. As a result, Beckett was forced to put him into a medically induced coma until the swelling could be dealt with, which prevented Bates from explaining what had happened to anyone. However, Wraith's DNA on his clothes ultimately revealed the truth. Bates was then sent back to Earth upon delivery of a zero-point module by the crew of the Daedalus, along with the other injured expedition members. 2008 Due to the injuries that he sustained, and likely his incompetence while a security chief in Atlantis, Bates was honorably discharged from the United States Marine Corps but shortly afterwards was contracted by the International Oversight Advisory and offered a job as a special agent in the IOA Field Operations Division, dealing with alien threats on Earth. Bates accepted and in the course of his duty aided Lieutenant Colonel John Shepard and Ronan Dex in tracking the Renegade Replicator. When the Replicator was cornered, he was paired up with Dr. Richard Poole. Poole later struck him on the head with a board and knocked him out. After the replicator was destroyed by Shepard and the Apollo, Bates discussed what to do with the Ava Dixon replicator with Shepard and Dr. Bill Lee. 
Have a great day. Bye-bye.